12 Uhr 42. Caller on line 1. I suppose I should take this call. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Ach so, ja, 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 hab ich vergessen. Caller, this is Forrest Nash. Host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Ja. Hello, Brian. What have you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Wow, Brian. That's really good of you. But you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck, because we're always running great deals that'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have oh, is yeah. to die for. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, 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 no. Poor choice of words tonight, I guess. <laughs> Äh, wäre mir auch lieber gewesen. Ja, das war ziemlich geschmacklos, muss ich schon sagen. Ja. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Pony's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend! You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself- God damn it, you're just calling in to advertise your shop! For, for, Peggy, hang up on him! Done. Oh, Endlich. real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? That's war auf jeden Fall eine. Um. Sure. Done. Jetzt müssen wir uns das noch mal anhören. Das toll. <lacht> Wusste ich ja nicht. Das war jetzt irgendwie. Hey Forrest, do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite grilling spree order is? I have a feeling you're gonna tell me. Spare ribs. Ah, uh, just get me back on the air. And we're back. We got a caller. You know what to do. Wir haben einen Anrufer. Ach so, okay. Ähm, Kassette ist aus, ne? Ja. Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Ich pin den Notruf, genau. I am 911. At least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? 
I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. Äh, wir sind live auf Sendung, genau. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. This? Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. And this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Kommen Sie gegen den Pfeifer an, genau. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out? That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions? So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Und sichern uns ein Exklusiv-Interview mit dem Killer, genau. And buy Maurice time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. This? You... you don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell... I'm here. The freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Bin schon auf dem Weg. Ich weiß nur noch nicht so genau, wo es Fax ist. Mehr zu erledigen. Hier gibt's noch einiges zu... Willst du mich verarschen? Wo ist mein Faxgerät? Oh, no, Forrest. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Ernsthaft? Du lässt den armen Kerl okay. vielleicht sterben, Go weil du mich nicht rauslassen willst, um mir das zu sagen? Grab the facts from the machine. Easy. Oh nein. Ich hab den, den Dings vergessen. This must be it. Äh, okay. Dass der aber auch so, so ganz cool und lässig wieder zurückgeht, ne? Nach dem Motto, oh ja, da ist gerade ein Killer, der den Typen umbringen will. Wir haben keine Zeit, aber ich gehe mal so locker lässig, gehe ich mal hier rein. So, äh, DW1. Was ist ein DW1? Wo ist er denn jetzt? Er ist im Büro, hat er gesagt, ne? Office Space. Kirche. Also die 02 könnten wir anrufen oder Archiv 03. 01, 01, äh Quatsch, 03, 01 oder 02 hey, meine ich. Ich hab's yes, verloren, genau. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? 
I am. You get my facts? Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Hello? Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. Ich denke, er ist im Büro. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Also, Bros Office. Das heißt, er müsste dann ja theoretisch im, im Boardroom sein. Ja ah, klar, da ist ja das Faxgerät. Ach klar. Ähm, er muss ihn weglocken. Das heißt, am besten... Da ist kein Telefon, ne? Am besten lockt er ihn... Was ist denn das? Auf die 03. Äh, Editor. Was ist ein Editor? Redakteur, oder? Konferenzraum ist er ja im Endeffekt drin. Ich denke mal, das ist der Redakteur oben, der Editor. Call the editor's office. The ja, extension okay. is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Ähm Ja, der soll die Treppen. Ach so, der kann ja die Treppen gar nicht runtergehen. Da steht übrigens Kitchen, jetzt weiß ich auch. Also normalerweise würde ich sagen, er geht zum Office Space, aber da ist er gerade drin, ne? Zur Küche oder zum Archiv? Ne, das Archiv ist da oben. Dann auf jeden Fall zur Küche. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Oh yes, my sir. God. Calling now. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. Shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. Ich bin mir nicht sicher. Now, what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Natürlich. Ach so. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. I've got to give you credit for that. But I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right. Let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way. Fenster, das ist ein Fenster, oder? Not quickly or quietly. Todstellen auch nicht, können Sie ihn einsperren. Also gegen ihn kämpfen auf gar keinen Fall. Ähm Todstellen ist natürlich totaler Schwachsinn. Einsperren ist natürlich die Frage. Ich weiß nicht, ob man den vielleicht in den Secret Archives einsperren kann oder so. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Uh -huh. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Falscher Zeitpunkt, genau. Peggy, I don't think now is the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. 
the secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break Bin out. gerade sicher. If we can get him in there and I lock him in, we can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god, Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Selbst Köder spielen auf gar keinen Fall. Ein Radio verwenden könnte man vielleicht, aber dann wäre das Radio an und der käme einen entgegen. Gibt es dort einen Fernseher? Oh, das finde ich gar nicht gut. Das finde ich gar nicht gut. Ähm, also selbst Köder spielen... Nee, 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 nee. Fernseher würde wahrscheinlich zu viel Licht machen. Radio verwenden wäre vielleicht nicht schlecht, oder? Ich bin mir nicht sicher, ehrlich gesagt. Ich traue mich gerade auch nicht. Ich will nicht noch einen töten. Oh mein Gott. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he... <lacht> ich hoffe, er steht auf unseren Sender genau. That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. We're gonna save him, Forrest. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. Ja, freu dich nicht zu früh, genau. We're close. Let's make it happen, Peggy. How can we fail? I mean, it's a plan with steps. Get the radio, plant it in the secret archives, lure the killer, and oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello. Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. Schrei doch nicht so. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Mm -hmm. The radio works. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Oh my god. Wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm Eben. dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. Das sage ich doch die ganze Zeit. But wait. We're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. If you can do that... <laughs> Yeah, sure. 189.16, I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? Die beste und einzige, genau. You got it, 189.16. Good. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Oh mein Gott, äh, ich sehe nichts mehr. Ruf im Konferenzraum an. Also er will zum Office, ne? Office Space, wenn ich das richtig verstanden habe. Er ist jetzt oben, wenn ich's, wenn er jetzt nirgendwo anders hingegangen ist, neben dem Archiv. Ich wäre jetzt, äh, nee, ist er jetzt aus der Küche raus? Scheiße, wo ist er denn jetzt? <lacht> Also er ist, nee, er ist ins Büro gegangen von dem Typen. Das müsste Office Space sein, oder? Er ist nicht wieder zur Küche zurückgegangen. So richtig. Dann würde ich nämlich sagen, wir rufen in der Küche an. Oh Gott, ich hoffe, das ist richtig. Call the kitchen. The extension is 02. That could work. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office. But the killer searched it before. Are you sure? 
I'm sure. Make the call. Okay. Calling the kitchen now. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? Ich imitiere Mr. Russell. Ich täusche einen Ratschlag vor. Ich nenne den Pfeife eine Pfeife. Ähm, ja, das ist, das würde ihn vielleicht reizen, aber Mr. Russell, wer ist jetzt Mr. Russell? Das war jetzt nicht der, der angerufen hat. Ich ist anders, ne? Ich täusche einen Ratschlag vor. Ich mach mal. I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave ist that mask okay. freak the slip. What a great plan this is, Pearl. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. <laughs> Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. I set the radio in the... Oh. He'd already searched. Son of a... Fuck! Nein! Forrest, he's... He's... Es ist doch scheißegal, ob der die schon durchsucht hat, Leute. Schnee von gestern. Ja, genau. Dead. <sighs> Let's put on a song. Give us some time to recover. I think that would be for the best, Peggy. <sighs> Folks, we'll be back soon. If you have any stories about Maurice that you'd like to share, give us a call after this next track. Oh, ich habe echt gedacht, dass wir das schaffen können, ey. Well, this is gonna be a long night. Oh, really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Das wird mir noch leidtun, genau. Ähm All right. Shoot. What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any... siblings? I don't. I'm an only child and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. Tut dir leid, warum steckst du dahinter? <lacht> oh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well, that was Dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget Dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Really? Think someone needs our help? Maybe. You want to go check it out? Me? You sure you don't want to go? No way. I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Peggy. Ich bin mir nicht so sicher. Front door. See you in a bit. Ich bin mir nicht so sicher, ob ich das wirklich möchte. Keine Ahnung. Ich mache jetzt noch mal eben die Pause rein, weil ich gerade so ein bisschen äh, panisch bin. <lacht> 
Äh, ich würde auch wirklich sagen, dass wir hier einen kleinen Cut machen, weil das scheint ja jetzt wieder eine neue Situation zu werden. Ich bin langsam echt wütend und echt traurig, dass das erste so wunderbar geklappt hat. Das zweite so, ja wirklich scheiße im Endeffekt von der Vorgabe gewesen ist, weil ich habe diese Anleitung null verstanden, was da gestanden hat, wo die immer von irgendwelchen lila Kabeln gesprochen haben, die aber nicht da drin gewesen sind. Naja, egal. Und ich bin ehrlich gesagt extremst wütend gerade darüber und traurig natürlich auch, dass es so gut ausgesehen hat und alles auch so logisch war, was ich mir überlegt habe mit dem Klingeln hier und Klingel da. Und ganz ehrlich, es ist doch egal, ob der jetzt die Küche schon durchsucht hat oder nicht. Wenn es da klingelt, kann das genauso sein, dass einer extra dahin gegangen ist, weil er das schon durchsucht hat. Ich meine, so schlau ist der Killer normalerweise doch auch. Aber gut, ähm, das war anscheinend anders gedacht von den Entwicklern und dementsprechend... Ja, haben wir jetzt schon zwei von drei Fails. Also so langsam, ähm, ich könnte das Spiel neu starten und nochmal neu machen. Das wäre vielleicht das Einfachste. <lacht> Aber wir schauen jetzt erstmal, wie es weitergeht. So, bis zur nächsten Folge. Ciao. Vielen Dank für dein Like. Wenn du mehr davon sehen möchtest, dann darfst du mich auch gerne abonnieren.